Duke played a great game. You see the variety of arms and the talent they have on, on both sides of it, but it, it really started with the arms and just the variety in the lefties. And, and we have similar stuff. Clearly, we did not execute today. Our, our fastball command to either side of the plate, a secondary pitch that we could bang in there with some aggression and expand if we needed to. We just didn't sequence enough of anything, quite frankly. We were hoping Dorsey could get us through it for a while. And his first inning, it looked good. And we just could not stave off some of the, the good at-bats that they had. And we had sequences of walk hit by pitch and some other things that seemed to give us problems in the early part of the ball game. And, and they capitalized. The secondary pitches, I wish we had commanded it better. I felt like their staff today did a nice job of using their secondary pitches. I think we had some more reckless at-bats than we've seen. You may feel that every once in a while as the score separates. I think sometimes hitters try to do a little bit too much. Not that that's acceptable, but I think it, it happens. I thought we chased a little bit. And credit to them, they used our aggressiveness against us, and they did a, a very nice job of managing their, their secondary pitches stood out to me as much as anything. Breaking balls, change-ups, and they had some guys with good life on the fastball, so those those secondary pitches become that much more effective. And clearly, Cam, after two at-bats, it's two to nothing. And a good start, but just not enough on the mound to really hold this thing down today. And it's a shame that this is a, a great venue. The staff that opens the locker rooms up, the field guys are here all night and all day. And they give the teams a really nice experience here. So kudos to the way they run this because it makes everybody feel like we belong. It's properly done for the players. And I think it's a good experience. Today was not a good experience for us, what we had to endure. But the way this is presented for the players is top notch. Thanks, Coach. We'll open up for questions now. If you have a question on Zoom, please use the raise hand function. We'll start with questions here in house. Carson, after you guys moved him into the rotation, had, had been pretty consistent up until this, this week. Just for next week, how do, you, how do you feel like you need to get him back on track? Brett, it was a little bit of everything. The, the fastball command, the first inning today, it seemed like it was there. It had some life and some ride and some command. He just couldn't find feel for the secondary pitches for whatever reason. And I know we used him in a different role to open this thing up, but like the relief appearance. The, his first appearance in the tournament was obviously in relief. And that's a little bit different than what he's been doing. But when you get to this time of year, sometimes you, you have to try to use your, your guys who are fresh in the, in the right position to help the team extend their stay. And it, it just looked like the change up, he could not get through that and stay on it enough to keep that in or below the zone. And he really didn't have a great sense of either of the two breaking pitches today. And uh, that can be a problem when you're running into a, a group that's this physical and, and talented. It's a good lineup. And their lefties hang in there. They have some older guys. They have two really good freshman left-handed bats that handle left-handed pitching well. It's a good lineup. So you have to have more weaponry in your arsenal than, than what we trotted out there today like with, with Dorsey. He's got the weaponry. It just has to be commanded and a little bit more in play with, with the secondary stuff. Coach, I know this isn't your, uh, Duke isn't your team, but I know you're on the, co uh, the committee, the competitive committee for the conference. Um, do you think they're deserving of a hosting spot after this win today at the ACC champions? I do. That's a good That's a good team, and I've said it all along. That pitching staff, and there were some pieces that didn't participate this week, right? They had some good arms still. I don't know what's going on, but they went through this thing and mixed and matched and did a did a very nice job. Like that's a that's a team that deserves to host. That's a really really talented, balanced. There, there's not one dimension of it that you can poke holes in. There's not. They have pitching. They swing the bats. They have enough power, and they defend enough. So and they're they're strong. Should be a host. I know Ben didn't get the results he wanted today, but it looked like the velo ticked up a little bit. Just how good of a sign is that for you since it was down a little bit after he came back? Yeah, Brett, that looked like him. Now, when you leave sliders on the inside half of the plate and belt high, you know, they end up on the Piedmont gas tent out there. I mean, that's a tough thing to learn, but it, it happened. So I did see it. Like, that's the first time since 
was that Illinois way back when we were in Greenville that he was extending a nice little outing with the stuff, the velocity back in the low nineties, the breaking ball looked good. The location of some of the breaking pitches wasn't ideal and they can damage you. And the ball jumps here. Like you're not getting away with that, the way this stadium plays. So he's going to have to learn quickly that a, I've got it. B, it still has to be managed and executed. Cam, as, as a team captain, you guys have been through some adversity this year just despite having the record that you guys have. Just how prepared do you feel like you guys are for this upcoming week? We're definitely ready. Um, none of us want to feel this ever again. It's, it's real tough on us just, just because we had all that momentum. But um, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to come out next week and, and do what we really do. We'll take our final question from Zoom. Aslan, go ahead. Link, you, mean, you mentioned the weaponry and the arsenal of, of pitchers that you have available in the bullpen. The last day and a half, I don't know how many of these guys will be relied on moving into next weekend and beyond, but just where are you when you kind of take inventory of who you feel like you can rely on moving into this uh, important chapter of the postseason? Well, clearly you have to be conscious of the workload of Oxford and Holtz and you know when do you use them today do, do you try to use them really early to get out of a mess that that was an option clearly that we had but it needed to be short because of the workload that they've had in the last month and for Oxford really the entire year so we were conscious of that clearly those two have done a nice job um, Joe Charles has had flashes of it there were some really good sequences he threw today Abraham has done a nice job for us with the breaking stuff. And then we have to figure Ben out and we have to figure Lighter out. Lighter threw a really good bullpen today. So there's there's weaponry there, uh, more in a relief capacity. How do you use Whitaker? I, we'll figure it out. And then Dorsey has shown us that he's very capable of pitching and beating good teams. He, he has, so he's weaponized enough. This week with no issue in the middle of the week in terms of playing like it gives the guys a rare chance to really fine-tune some of the things that you saw today so um, I'm okay with the weaponry I'm not okay with how it was executed today by the by the bulk of the, the guys that were out there